So on question four, we are given the grade 10 learners went to uh, investigate the relationship between current and the potential difference. So they were experimenting two things between current and the potential difference, the relationship between these two. Their teacher gives them the following apparatus. So they were given the voltmeter, the ammeter, the connecting wires, and also five cells. So the voltmeter, remember, to measure the voltage. In this case, you have to measure the voltage, which is the potential difference to measure the current. So that is the idea there. So we are working with the potential difference. So we are given the table below shows the results obtained during the investigation. The voltmeter V, the ammeter A, so this is the volts and the ammeter A amperes. All right, measuring our current. So we've got our current in amperes, our voltmeter. This is the symbol for V and this one A for ammeter. So we are given these corresponding 1,5 to this result, three to this. These are results which were taken for each and every uh, combination that was being taken. So 4.1 we are given, write down a possible investigative question. What is it that you are investigating? Because it's an investigation that is taking place. So what is it that you think it can be a possible investigation? What, what do you think we are investigating? What do you think? That is the question. What is it that is taking place? So as you can see, there is voltage, there is current there. So it's simply for us to know the relationship because already we are told here to the grade 10 learners want to investigate. What is it that they want to investigate? The relationship between current and the potential difference. That is, we are given the answer already. You are given what you are investigating there. So this is uh, uh, to investigate. That is, uh, so the possible question here uh, is to investigate, to uh, investigate to investigate the relationship. So we can simply write this, the relation, uh, the relationship between uh, the two that we are given there. What is it that we are given between current and the potential difference? And the potential difference. So when this observation is uh, taking place, or when this experiment is taking place. It takes place at a condition where the temperature is considered to be constant. So it's true that you are to investigate the relationship between current and the potential difference, but it's taken at a condition where the temperature is constant. So this is taken at what? At constant temperature. That's at constant temperature. Constant meaning to say, the temperature is not changing. The, uh, the temperature is not affected. The temperature remains the same. That is the idea there. All right, so this was the first part that you're given. Then 4.2, name the dependent variable for this investigation. What is our dependent uh, variable? So um, remember your Ohm's law. So the, the current is the one that remains uh, dependent, all right? So we, we have current as our dependent and the control variable, uh, which is the one that is uh, affecting becomes the resistance or it can be the temperature uh, that we have. So in this case, we can have this as the resistance. Okay, we can have this as the resistance or the temperature. All right, so that is what you're gonna need. Then 4.4, which is the major question that I wanted us to have because all these theory guys, we know them, we revise them a lot. So I'm worried about this. Draw a graph of current difference versus the potential difference. Plot the points 
and connect them with a best fit straight line. So we need to show the relationship of what is happening uh, with this part. Remember uh, that we are supposed to obtain a linear uh, part between the relationship that occurs between voltage and the current. So these are the measurements which were obtained on the voltmeter. These were the measurements which were taken on the ammeter in uh, which is our uh, me the measurement of current. There is current there. So we are going to have our graph uh, just going to have something like this, the voltage and the current. So we are going to mark each and every point that we are given corresponding to this uh, part that we have. Uh, this is what I'm trying to say. If voltage is 1,5, current is 0, 0,7. So we need V as 1,5 and our current as 0, 0,7. So V must be 1,5 in, in between. 1,5 is in between 1 and 2. That's our V must be 1,5. And remember that was 0, 0,7. So 1,5 may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, somewhere here. 0, 0,7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you mark the point at 1,5 and at 0, 0,7 where these two meet, you mark a point, okay? The second point, it was 3 and 1,4. If we saw properly, that was 3 versus 1,4. So this is 3. Straight up, we are at 3. Uh, 1,4, you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4. From this point here, 1,4 is somewhere here. You join that point to 3. So it's 3 versus current is 1,4. Where these two meet, you mark a point. Okay, so this is how you're going to join uh, these points uh, throughout. So we had the three and this one. So you're going to have 4,5 versus 2,0. That's 4,5 uh, versus 2. 4,5 is in between 4 and 5. So we need 2 versus 4,5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In between somewhere there. That's where we have uh, 4,5 uh, versus 2, where these two meet. You mark a point, okay? Then we move on to the other part of our um, uh, points, the points that we are given. Uh, in this case, we've got 6,0 versus 2,7. That 6,0 is simply a 6. So that's a 6 in that case. Uh, so we've got 6,0 versus 2,7. That's uh, 6, which is this side. Uh, then 2,7 might be somewhere there. Where these two meet, that you're going to mark a point. So 6. 2,7, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. You mark a point, 6 versus uh, 2,7. You do the same thing uh, to the point that you're given, which is uh, the last point, actually. Uh, 7,5, it was 7,5. Uh, this is our last point, 7,5 versus 3,4. All right, that's 7,5 versus 3,4. 7,5. Uh, that's between 7 and 8, and 3, 4, you're just going to count four boxes up. So 7, 5, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, somewhere there, 7, 5. 3, 4, it's 1, 2, uh, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, somewhere there. So you mark a point. So in each and every part that you are given, you are going to mark the points that you are given. Uh, then by marking these points that you are given, what you are going to do is to simply... Uh, join the points that you have. So you have marked your points. Then after that, you're going to join these points. So in this case, uh, let us join our points. So it's a line of best uh, fit that you're given. It's the line of what? Of best fit. Meaning to say it must fit these points that you're given. So that is the our question. Uh, it is the line of best fit that you're going to have. So it must be, uh, co it must connect all the points that you're given. That is the idea of our, our question. So let us try to join. It must join these points from here. Okay, just guys, do not worry about those centimeters that you're seeing there. Um, all right, just do not worry about this like this. So it is actually supposed to pass through these points that you are given. All the all the points that you're given, even you can even extend uh this line like this. All right, you can even extend 
uh, this line, let's try to extend it. Even like this, you can even extend it. You're using your ruler, remember? Uh, you can even extend that line to be like this. All right, so this is the line that you're supposed to have, which is showing the relationship that is happening uh, between our voltage and the current, as you can see, it's a straight line, meaning to say you can even you can even name the, the current which corresponds when this voltage, if you can even take the answer, you can even obtain uh, any value that you want as long it is corresponding. That is the relationship that you have, uh, which is uh, giving us what we call the resistance between the voltage and what between the voltage and the current. So these are the typical questions that you might have, that you might be given, just like that. So after that, now the question is, from the graph drawn, deduce the relationship that exists between the current difference and the potential uh, difference in a circuit. From the what? From the graph. You are to deduce this. You are to tell us what is happening. You are to tell you are to give the, the, the meaning of this relationship that you are seeing. So as we can see, as uh, the current or the voltage is increasing, the current is also increasing. There's an increase in both. Or simply, current and the potential difference are directly proportional to each other. So an increase of one and another one is also increasing. It means that's a direct proportion. So in this case, we can conclude that current is directly, so our current is directly uh, proportional. So this is directly uh, proportional to potential difference, which is uh, the voltage that you're given, that is the potential uh, difference. All right, so that is what you can have in conclusion. So in most cases, uh, the last part of your question, they are going to ask you, uh, the relationship that is happening between current and voltage, maybe it's current and resistance of the circuit that you're given. So in this case, we're just given information, but we can deduce this relationship from the diagram that, I mean, from the, the, the graph that you're given. Both values are increasing at the same time. That is directly proportional. So that is how the questions might be. More questions to come till we meet again.